All right. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make my infamous tier 10 teddy bear of doom. I have many screenshots of this particular build. It was uh, one of my first um, art bot creations. Uh, the joy of killing someone. I use some tier ticks tier six tracks because they're small enough to fit inside what I'm going for and they'll have sufficient hit points to if I protect them right to really uh, have the effect I need because he's going to be such a large build I don't want to use a lot of space and one thing that is imperative in my build for this particular build is hiding these really well And when we get all done, we may decide to, you know, uh, make those bigger, depending on how much space we have left over and how we do the gun placement. Which, when I build a body, it can, it can be used with any weapon variant. Uh, the hard points are going to be big enough for, any, like I said, any weapon variant you want. I just want this to sort of be rounded at the end, at the end of the build. So I'm going to make it where it has a little more depth um, so I can round it out. And it may, it'll just look better in the end like that. Here, we'll go ahead and uh, do the little bear tail while we're down here. It's a little ball. Okay, folks, I hope you liked my video. It's on how to build a bear's, bear's tail on your robot. <laughs> that, touching the ground like that, will give the track some extra stability. Um, when it comes to, like, taking off. It shouldn't do too much of a willy. <laughs> I want this section to look a different, a little different, so that way they can tell, hey, that's the, that is definitely the torso area, the dairy air, the business end. That gives us some extra cubes we can use later on, so we'll take those out those out. We can even lose those. We're really trying to save as many cubes as possible. So that's what we're doing now. Just trimming down some fat.
want them to be pretty solid in the end, so in order to achieve that, we'll have to conserve in the build, conserve. And to make him effective, he still needs to be pretty darn tanky. This build will draw a lot of attention. And it has to be able to defend itself. So, that's where your tankiness will come into play versus everyone else. Now we also on the front we wanted sort of like a little belly shape. On the back we don't really need that. So we can have less definition back there. Shape's coming along pretty good. We're at 616 cubes, so now we're just going to do some legs. And they look pretty solid, they are, they're supposed to be. Um, they're gonna take a lot of damage for you. Like a battering ram. Thank you. 
sort of looks a little blocky now. It's okay. We're gonna smooth them out in the end. As you, when you get done with your art bot and you're playing it, you'll be in a match and you'll see something you'll be like, oh, I bet that would look so much better if I just smooth it out right there. So that's what's gonna happen here. It looks all chunky at first and blocky, but we're really gonna smooth it out and add some definition. Like parts like this. Just that one little simple step does that right there. I also want this in the end to sort of play a bit pretty valuable role in the defensive area that right there. So now we're filling in the head pretty good. We've got some extra blocks here. We can go in and clear out. He's a blockhead. starting to look a lot like it should right now. I would like that smoothed out a little more, so what we're going to do is... looking pretty good. Anything you could think of Really, I think those ears are a little big and it looks more like a mouse. So let's trim those down a little bit. There we go. That looks more like a teddy bear. I think this needs to come out another spot.
I want some pretty menacing looking eyes, so we're gonna do this little trick right here. Or you put a white block back there to add some contrast. And you do something like that. Yeah, now he looks mean. There you give him some teeth. Take out this block right there. smooth out that head a little bit you can see we got these little areas like that that those cubes will fit right in we can also make his ears look a little thicker and then anyone who gets from the side will be like oh my god your ability is flawless He's looking mean now, but he's got to have a, a different colored nose because you can't really tell right now. So we'll give him a tier 9 nose and we'll give him some tier 9 eyebrows. And then we'll make the give the ears a little definition by doing that. He's looking pretty mean. Builds go pretty fast with the symmetrical building tool. That's the X button by default on your keyboard. We'll add that little line and then the little arrow right under the cursor that bouncing off the floor to signify that your mirror build is on, symmetrical building. When I go back through, you'll see a lot of parts that are being removed and switched out. And that's really just going to make sure that that end product is as smooth as we really want it to be. So we're doing pretty good so far. Need some arms, we're at 968 cubes, or CPU. So what we're gonna do is, just gonna make some standard arms. Three-year-old, he's in here. He's going to give us some help with some commentary. Yeah.
ones are pretty easy. They're not going to be anything too fancy or too hard to pull off, so... We have plenty of room that we're working with. I think I'm just going to do them a bit different and make them a little bit thicker on this end. And I'll tell you why when we get them all done. Looks very nice and rounded and smooth right now, like that. That's kind of what I was Okay, so now we can hollow this section out. And what that'll do is, if we do have hard points there, it'll cause the damage to wrap around instead of going straight through. So there's a chance if it gets hit, it will only lose a small section of the arm. Okay, now we really want some plates down here covering the feet. And what I mean by that is I want them to be just a little bit taller so I can set some weapons up there. And they have to look like feet, so that is what I'm doing right now. Just adding some thickness to them. Okay, so that's going to give us some really good hard points for our weapons. And that is how you would do a basic bear design. Let's give them some more. We got some extra cube space, so we're going to give them a little more depth in these arms. 
just to a certain point. And I won't throw off anything. What it's going to do is it's just going to make it look a lot better. Okay, so now we're going to work on the pilot area. First, we're going to do something cool with these feet. Just to give them a little added definition. And I really think that he looks more... That, that needs to be smoother there, so I'm going to redo this section real quick. I'm going to drop it down a level. Just so it becomes a bit more smooth. I like that. That looks a little better. Okay, so now we're going to break open an access point to the cockpit area. Right there. And let's do some simple triforcing. For the cockpit. Pilot seat, right there. Okay, so now the damage is transferred, you know, a bit away. If a railer gets that lucky shot, um, it shouldn't affect the build too much. And we're just going to reinforce it a little bit more anyway. We've got our basic build done. So now it just needs that. It's going to be like a big impact zone through here. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but I always like to put at least a tier 1 radar. Because I don't need to see them from 700 feet. I need to see them from if they're right on top of me usually. And a tier 3 radar jammer. That way I can serve space. But I still have those two very vital components to each build. This, the radar jammer, will buzz. 
that'll make like a little buzz sound if someone is in your immediate vicinity and that means your your radar jammer becomes active it, it makes a little buzzing sound to show you that it's active or being activated that you're jamming someone's radar and of course the radar that lets you see your immediate surroundings if they don't have a jammer this thing works pretty well and a lot of people don't even use jammers I prefer to use jammers so I can be like a ninja bear sneak up on them so our cockpit's done I see that we have a little more work to do out here just a little to smooth it out and we can add these blocks back and now it needs some guns so let's get some hardware some top mount SMG 10s when you need to shred something in a hurry I can almost fit a gun up here, but not quite. So we're going to try a couple different things first. We're going to try that to see if we can get at least two more guns on. And we're low on flops, so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the bear and try to trim some down. I see right here that I can trim some. Oh, look, I've already got to turn my symmetrical building on for that side. You were moved. Okay, I think I can do it even smoother than that right there, so we're going to try, because each time we do that we're conserving some space. So now we should have clearance for that other gun over there. All right. So we have a, a decent looking teddy bear here. Don't really have much CPU left over. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to try and hide those tracks from the front. So people are like, how are you moving? In order to do that, we need to raise the craft up. So this is a little trick. Just 
going to take one of those off for a second. Put that on there. Do that right there. And we're at 1,511 cubes. So now we're going to just do some little trim on the bottom. Round them out a bit more. So we've trimmed it up, we've used our 1,511 CPU limit, and now we're going to go into a practice mode, and make sure we got movement function, and I've built a lot of these tanks, so I'm pretty, pretty comfortable in that fact that it's going to move around and be effective, it's okay. Now we have the head. Gamers are genetically programmed to go for the head shot. As you can see, there's nothing in the head that could potentially harm us. So let's just roll out here. I think with the tail the way it is, it seems to have plenty of stability, so I think the tail the way it is, we can actually trim it up a little bit and make him where he'll go up those hills. I think that was the problem. He was bottoming out in the back. This is the mega garage, by the way. As you can tell, it's much, much bigger normal garage. So we're just going to drop that down like that. Actually, I'm going to redesign the tail here. So it's a little more streamlined. Let's go ahead and practice session again real quick. Check that maneuverability out.
whenever you design a bot or create something, you always want to thoroughly test it in practice. You want to make sure that you can go through this little area right here without bottoming out and twisting sideways. What's going to happen is you're going to get in there and you're going to have one of these fantastic bots and people are going to be following and you're going to get in here and twist sideways and not be able to get out. You don't want that to happen. So you want to be able to go over all kinds of terrain without getting stuck. And the tracks are pretty amazing when it comes to top heavy builds. Yet no problem going up that and they should have really no problem if they have tracks going down and falling straight off the cliff. So that's another important factor when it comes to being effective with these builds. You don't want to be a, uh, a hindrance to the team by having one of these. You want to show people you know, how effective they are. And if your teammate's wheeled vehicle jumps off of this and falls upside down and he has to rectify, that hurts the team. But you shouldn't fall over going over those edges. It should be too heavy at the bottom. Now the game is having a shortage of SMG tanks currently, so basically that's all this is. If I didn't have the top part that was a bear, I'd just have you know the guns mounted to the lower point. I have eight guns, which is plenty. Two for redundancy, you can only fire six at a time. Um, I have the legs in front, that's going to be a shield from enemy fire. It is a hefty build to put back together, but hopefully before anything hurts you too bad, you will have decimated them. You have a wide range of fire, and this is what happens when you roll up on an enemy that's small. You roll up on him, and look at the guns. They're facing down on top of him. So now I have the advantage because I don't have to shoot through his front. I'm actually shooting down on top of him. So I prefer enemies to rush me and get in my face because that's when the real damage can happen. When I shoot directly down at their cockpit, and I only have to go through... You know, if people put their bots, their pilot seats, five blocks from the front, then eh, that means you have to shoot through that many layers. But they only put it one or two thick. That's key when I can destroy them faster with my guns firing down on top of them. And I'll say, Bruce, one, man, I mean, how do you beat that tank? Well, everyone knows now that the cockpit is down in this area. You have to go through all that to get to it. In the back, they have to go through the layers of the tail. Underneath, it's Triforce, so it's two, little, two rows thick with Triforce. Your, wheel, your tra tank treads will be regenerated pretty easy if they get blown off. They shouldn't be getting blown off right away, because we got this cavity right here that protects them from instant damage there. They're connected multiple ways. And, uh, and generally, you'll want your front to be facing them, so these are going to protect all those tracks. So I think we're ready for a battle test. Drone spotted. SMG hover spotted.
got to get back to the cat. Alright, so, we got two kills, the spaced armor worked well, um, most of our guns remain, it's pretty mobile, we took a lot of hits that time, we got some good healing, uh, this is tier 10, SMG not every match is a win, not every team is the same. Uh, Currently in tier 10, not every megabot is efficient. That's it, folks. Thank you for watching. And the all-important, it passed all its tests, so we're going to call it the bear. I think that's sufficient. I'm just going to add my clan tag here. VFGGaming.net or I should say vfgaming.net for the clan. Thank you guys for watching.